Hey, I'm Phil. I did the uh, Los Angeles music video. Co-director for Between Times. Oh. <laughs> so, do we have questions? <laughs> so, um, my question Shout it out real loud. Okay. Uh, my question is for Lynn. Um, is this is that a house that actually exists? In, not anymore. Uh, it went down in twenty ten. So yes, it was a house. The whole island had a, a large and thriving fishing population in the late 1800s. But then um, the water started rising, the island started to erode so quickly that a lot of people moved their houses literally off the island, leaving just a few behind. And this house is the last one standing. And for a while, it was just sitting alone in the water like that. And I saw an image of it, which is what my interest in the story. And I did some research, and that's how it settled down at the end of the central character. And did the shape singers? the song for you or the song for me? I wrote the lyrics. So I I decided before I did it who I wanted to use as my musicians because I had um, been in a performance together with Anna Roberts Gaval yeah. and I thought she'd be great for it. So yeah. I don't know if you guys know her. She's also a Baltimore artist. She makes she's put on my Frankie Fest, Kate Elizabeth. Anna and Elizabeth and they just have a new album. So they're great. So um, I contacted her and said I, I think you'd be great for the soundtrack for my film. It's about this house. She said sounds like what you want to do is write a, a ballad. So she told me some ballads to look at and I sort of figured out the structure. I wrote the lyrics, and it's all like within one day. I sent, I sent her the lyrics, she recorded it in GarageBand, sent it back to me. I was on an artist residency at St. Mary's College, and like within the first day, we had, she had sent me a scratch track that I animated to. And then, um, so I could listen to the music as I animated and sort of animate to it. And then uh, they re-recorded the track afterwards. How long did the animation take? It, it really, I, I say it took me two months, which is ridiculous because that was really a lot of hours within those two months. So um, I did two minutes in the two weeks I was at St. Mary's, but I worked you know, from like four in the morning, and I'd get up at nine in the morning and work until four in the morning. So uh, it was two very, very, very intense months. So it usually takes me about two to three hours to do one second, which is pretty fast for animation, actually. That's interesting. Anna Roberts Gaval and Elizabeth Lecrom. Anna and Elizabeth. Matt, can you talk about the inspiration for your story? Sure. Um, so we lived in New York uh, for about a decade together. Yeah. And um, we moved to the Netherlands because we were accepted to an artist residency. And they would give us a film production grant. Um, and when we got there, uh, time felt different. So we were very conscious of time. Um, at 5 o'clock, the bells rang and people walked. Um, there was the same man who walked by our window every day with his dogs. It was just, it was evident everywhere. Um, so we started to do research and we read um, Einstein's Dreams, which was a beautiful poetic meditation on time. Um, and then we ended up with um, the idea to create a fairy tale about relativity. Um, why did you choose the perspective of, from a bakery in particular? <laughs> um, to be honest, it could have been any store, but um, I love bakery. <laughs> I just love, not necessarily eating, but I just love the atmosphere of bakery. So one day Max just said, oh, bro, we have to do it in bakery. I'm like, yes. So that's sort of, we don't have like a deep meaning about bakery. It's just that we wanted to. <laughs> and Rue wanted to make lots of little bake goods. Yeah. <laughs> Who came up with the creepy talk, man? Who came up with it? Yeah. Or how did we come up with it? How did you come up with it? Um, we went through, um, probably with the Clockman, we went through more design phases than any other characters. Um, we wanted to come up with a character who's kind of creepy, but it has a good heart. And um, 
So there's a, a film festival director called Chris Robinson, who's um, the director of Ottawa Animation Festival. And we thought, oh, he's perfect. He has a creepy look, but he's such a good person. So, uh, he is, right? Yeah, so I was looking on Facebook and I designed everything based on him, but he doesn't know. He does. He does. George Sharp first. Apply to paper. You already know how to draw. Yes. Oh, yeah. Every year. Yeah. 
So thank you for coming. Alrighty.